Formulating poultry and livestock feed requires very careful consideration. There are various factors you need to put in place to ensure optimal nutrition and health of the poultry and livestock animal. In this particular content, I know that many farmers want to go into feed production. Everybody wants to do it by himself because the economy is getting too tight. The cost of the high rate of inflation have skyrocketed all the products in the market. Every farmer wants to make it by producing his or her own food in her farm so that the bears, the animals, the livestock will take it at a very reduced cost. In this particular content, I want to guide you. Going into feed production, do it yourself. Feed production is very good. But there are factors you need to put in place. You need to consider these factors I'm going to give you here now before you go into livestock or poultry feed production in order to make sure that your animals, your poultry, your livestock are safe. One is you need to consider the nutritional requirements. There are different species and ages of animals, poultry, livestock, all of them. And they have specific nutritional needs. Please understand the requirements of that particular poultry or livestock animal before formulating the feed. Get to know the requirements, what they need. What is the quantity of protein? What is the quantity of carbohydrate? What is the quantity of energy? What is the quantity of um, lipid or fat? What is the quantity of fiber? What is the quantity of minerals and vitamins they require? And at what age they need it? This is very important. Because if you give them high volume proteinous products and the energy content for them to consume and convert it is not there, it's going to have an adverse effect. That is why this particular content is very important. Before you go into feed production, you need to know it. And that one is the ingredients availability. What ingredients do you have in your region? What if ingredients are prevalent, are common, are cheaper in your area? You need to know this. You have to understand, first of all, the various seasonal geographical availability of in, um, individual feed products in your area. Because certain products are not common in the rainy season. Some are not common in the dry season. So you need to know how to blend it so that you'll be able to gather the ones that are not common in the dry season, you gather them in the rainy season and keep them so that you make sure you get secured. That's one that thing. Another one is the cost. The cost of the product is very important. You don't use a product that is very costly, or most especially the ones that are consumed by humans, the ones that are used by industries to produce one product or the other. Those ones may be very expensive. So it is good you consider the cost of the product before going into it. So the cost of the ingredients and the overall feed formulation in relation to your budget is very necessary. And that one is feed quality. Ensure that the ingredients are high, very rich, and quality have enough quality to provide all the necessary nutrients and prevent contamination or spoilage. It's very important for you to have this in your mind. And that one is what animal health. You need to consider the health of your poultry. If the product you are using is not rich, is not adequate, it's going to affect, it's going to compromise their health. Therefore, use high quality products, use high standard products for you to get the right and desired result. And that one is what the environmental factor. Consider the environment. And the impact of the feed ingredients, such as carbon footprint. There are certain ingredients that are not conducive for the environment or for the area you are staying. You need to consider, is this particular product conducive? If during the production, will it have any harmful effect in the area? You need to put all this into consideration. And that one is what the feed processing method. The feed processing method is also affect the digestibility and the nutritional value of that particular feed. So you need to consider the impact of processing on that particular feed product or feed formulation you are using. It's very important also. 
another one is feed addictives, consider adding addictives such as enzymes, probiotics, or growth promoters to improve feed efficiency and animal health standard. You need to add all these into consideration. You have to put them, you have to make sure that you consider them. If not, you are not getting it right. And that one is what feed storage. How do you preserve this feed? This, this particular product is it preservable? Can it stay longer? That is one of the things you have to put into consideration. The crucial effects of this, if it stays too long, you have to consider it also. And that one is what feed handling. Proper handling of feed is important to maintain good quality. Ensure that feed is handled correctly from production to feeding of your livestock. It is very important. And that one is what regulatory compliance. Ensure that the feed complies with the local authority, local regulation, environmental laws that are necessary for the animal to stay or for the feed itself. For them to consider that feed there, you need to put them into consideration. And that one is what purpose for which that animal is kept. Why did you keep this animal? That will determine the kind of feed you are going to give them. You won't use feed that is meant for laying beds and give it to um, um, flesh producing beds, that is broilers. You won't use the one that is meant for broilers and give it to layers. These are things you need to put into consideration. All these and many more. I don't want this video to go too long. If not, I will continue, continue talking, continue telling you tomorrow. But let's cut it off from here. Make sure you reach other farmers let them get to know this because i know that every farmer's intention is to have cheap is to have cheap feed to produce cheap do it by yourself do it at your backyard all these are very necessary but make sure you take this point i have given you here right now into consideration before going into it by considering these factors you can formulate a balanced and effective feed for your poultry and livestock promoting their overall growth and the hands. This is our target. Bye for now. Till I come with another interesting topic. Bye.